Greetings, y'all. This is Priestess Monjashola. I just want to let you guys know about my free mentorship, When Magic is Black Academy. It is a 12-week, intense, fast-paced mentorship, okay? It's going to be about Ifa, Hudu, and metaphysical spirituality, okay? It is awesome, awesome, an awesome way to begin your healing, to begin remembering who you are and why you are, okay? You guys, make sure you guys check out the link in my bio before you go ahead and check that out. I mean, why not? It's free, all right? But it is work. So come in and ready to work. You have daily assignments and assignments that you need to get done in three tiers, all right? It's definitely, definitely worth it. I've been helping a lot of people. I started my own mentorship, okay? So this is all about what Priestess Montechella is teaching you, okay? So go ahead, click the link in my bio, get into this 12-week free mentorship. It's going to help you in your healing and remember who you are. Peace. Greetings, this is Priestess Manjashola. Welcome back to my channel for those of you who are my savvy babies. And for those of you who are new to my channel, welcome, welcome. Today I'm going to be doing a reading for the sign of a Scorpio, okay? So let's see what's going on with you Scorpios. Let's get a little smoke done on here. Let's see what's going on with you Scorpios for the month of July 2022, okay? Ready to go on Please give me the messages that you have for the sign of Scorpio for the month of July. What's going on with Scorpios? Thank you so much. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, please let me know the messages that we have for the sign of Scorpio for the month of July. Thank you so much. Well, that was quick. All right, what other messages do we have for Scorpio Spirit? So, we have forge, don't follow, pave a new path, be the leader you wish you have, okay? So a lot of you guys are beating uh, the beat to your own drum here, okay? You guys are walking on your own path here, okay? And just not doing the norm here, okay? We have the blue flame, spontaneous awakening, activation, integration time okay this came after the last reading with libra okay so you a lot of you guys are having a spiritual awakening right now and have been activating here and just been really just aligning yourself with this awakening weight of the world boundaries let it go it's not for you to carry okay so with you guys doing these certain things you guys are making sure that you're practicing your boundaries that you've had with certain people that's in your life okay certain relationships Relationships that you have you have to let these certain things go because they have been getting in the way of your path that this new path that you're seeing that has been opening up for you right now okay so you know that you can no longer be in your humanness that you've been vibrating in right now okay but you are becoming a new person so with that you know that you have to let go of certain things certain characteristics certain people in order for you to make sure that the spiritual awakening that you're having right now is going to be you know integrated perfectly into the path that was created for you Okay, so if you guys haven't let go of certain boundaries, certain people, certain characteristics, certain things, this is a confirmation for you to go ahead and let go of those things, okay? Because a new path is being opened up for you, okay? Make sure that you're not being a follower and make sure that you are listening to your higher self and getting in touch with your higher self in order for you to be fully activated at this time, okay? What other messages do we have for Scorpio spirit? Okay. And don't force this path. Don't force this awakening because you feel that you need to be on a certain level. Okay. Master the art of allowing. Okay. 
surrender to that allow things to unfold naturally in the timeline that's supposed to unfold okay so if you've been getting the energy and the vibrations of you cutting certain things out of your life certain habits certain characteristics certain emotions certain people even your job even okay take that as a sign to go ahead and do that now okay because a lot of you guys are needing joy in your life you guys are needing happiness in your life a lot of you guys are needing peace in your life here okay some of you guys have to make sure that you're watching the things that you say and that you're speaking from joy you're speaking from peace and happiness okay and being balanced in life here okay it's time to just vibrate higher and be joyous in life in harmony in life finding harmony in the things people places and characteristics that you have in your life right now okay and with her arms up there just surrendering to the changes that's happening here in your life okay we have purity ice okay with that number 33 there this is letting you guys know that you are needing to master certain emotions here okay you need to basically become another form of washer that which you are okay scorpio is a water sign okay so this is you adjusting yourself from liquid into solid ice into solid form being more solid in who you are being more solid in what you represent and who you are and how you show up in this life okay balancing your light energies and your dark here energies here okay becoming one with that and becoming solidified in your yin and yang in your light and dark solidified in your energy and becoming pure and accepting who you are okay some of you guys need to make sure that you're taking time and solitude to make sure that you're cleansing yourself you're purifying yourself of any impurities that are still lingering within you certain things that you still need healing from certain things that you still need to master within yourself certain gifts certain understanding of who you are in this lifetime make sure that you're taking time with yourself to have those times of solitude so that you can be fully prepared for the spiritual awakening that's happening in your life and the spiritual awakening is happening for a lot of people right now that's going on but as far as with you make sure you're taking time to really get in touch with yourself and be real with yourself okay especially that dark side of yourself that still needs to be purified still needs to be cleansed still need to be accepted from you and mastered by you in order for you to vibrate higher in order for you to have more harmony and more joy in your life okay setting stronger and more powerful boundaries with certain things pay people characteristics and habits that you currently have okay because you're definitely going on to a new path a new path is opening up for you but if you don't do which what's needed as far as self mastery cleansing of self and mastering your light and dark of yourself it's going to be a bumpy ride for you okay you're not going to be as joyous as you need to be you're going to be more irritated okay more angry at people okay more angry at yourself okay so make sure that you're doing the work that's needed all right for Scorpio for the month of July okay. a lot of you guys need to be changed by the renewing of your mind all right a lot of these things um, that you harbor are a lot of thoughts that go across your mind okay and you guys being Scorpios you guys keep a lot of things to yourself a lot of thoughts and fears to yourself a lot of conceptions of certain people or even yourself into your mind okay and some of these thoughts are negative okay you guys do represent pluto okay the death card here in the tarot deck okay so you guys could be very very dark very very shadowy okay you guys gotta make sure that you're balancing these thoughts okay that you become a mastery of these thoughts balancing out with your light body here with your light essence here okay not really dwelling on this darkness here but adding light illuminating the darkness and understanding the reason why it's there and with those things that are in the dark healing those things are in the dark as well okay 
that's definitely going to help you with your awakening and your activation at this time okay now we have the three of pentacles here so it's okay for you to ask for help from spiritual advisors from your ancestors from those that can help you for those that see you for who you truly are okay ask for that help all right, seek out counsel from those who are, you know, spiritual advisors to you, from your ancestors and stuff. They're here to help you with this ascension. They're here to help you with your healing because they see you for who you truly are. All right, so utilize these people that are around you. Don't go through this alone because you're not supposed to, all right? You do have people and energies that are around you that will help you, okay? through this awakening, through this activation, through this cleansing and purification that you're going through, okay? A lot of you guys have experienced here a tower moment, okay? Your life has basically been turned upside down. And your guys' perspective of yourself, your guys' perspective of your surroundings and um, of just life in general has changed, okay? And it was done so due to the fact of, you know, this spiritual awake awakening that you're going through. Okay. It was meant to happen, all right, for you to be able to get to your Ten of Pentacles here, your happiness, okay, the house, the home, the picket fence, all right. In order for you to get to this, you had to have this tower moment happening, okay? But it's all about what you reap, okay? What you sow, what you reap. So whatever you did um, to get yourself to this tower moment, it was basically like a karmic moment for you. But in order for you to have those things and wishes that you desired, you had to have basically the rug ripped under from up under your feet, okay? Letting you know that nurturing is needed. Healing is needed, okay? Taking care of yourself is needed, okay? Becoming more grounded in your thoughts, okay? Becoming more realistic of who you are and how you show up in your life, okay? And how you're loving on yourself, okay? The peace of mind that you have about yourself. The self-love that you have for yourself. Being real about the love you have for others and for yourself, period, okay? Making sure that you're putting the love of self first, that you're sitting in peace first, okay? That you're balanced here in this love, all right? And you have been changing slowly, but surely, okay? And that's a good sign. That's a good thing, all right? But just know that it's now time to stop with the negative thoughts, with the negative thinking, and thinking that you're going to get away with thinking this way, thinking that you're going to get away with dwelling on certain dark thoughts that you may have going into your mind here, okay? You're not going to get away with it, all right? You're going to have to purify and cleanse this from your mind, from your thoughts, in order for the spiritual awakening to be, you know, perfected or mastered or successful in a way, okay? You want to be fully activated okay and not just half ass halfway because you're holding on to certain things people characteristics okay and certain trauma okay some of you guys may not have may not also be sleeping okay some of you guys may also be fearing this next level this new past not feeling good enough not feeling worthy not feeling adequate to be able to ascend properly or walk this path that has been brought to you okay a lot of you guys have been feeling burdened by this new energy by these new thoughts by these new downloads that you've been having okay and it's because you still are not letting go of certain things that you're holding on to okay so you have to make sure that you're letting go of these things all right you've already had the the rug ripped from your feet why are you still holding on all right you're asked to be able to elevate yourself spiritually okay you're asked to be able to elevate everyone's asked me to be able everyone's asked at this time to elevate themselves spiritually okay and you're one of the persons or you're one of the peoples who's being asked to have a new spiritual path a new spiritual walk here in life okay here's your new spiritual walk okay you have to be renewed by the renewing of your mind. You need to have a whole new mindset, okay? Let go of the negative thinking. Let go of that dark thinking and balance your yin and yang, okay? Balance your light and your dark. Stop being so cynical. I feel a cynical energy here, okay? We have the six of pentacles here at the bottom of the deck, okay? Another balance 
okay energy it has to be a balance of give and take you will find more harmony more peace in your life okay make sure that you're dropping these burdens dropping things that no longer serve you okay a lot of these things you guys should have been let go of all right but you've been holding on to them and it's serving you no good it's not serving your purpose here okay all right so we have the devil card here in reverse letting you know that you need to let go of some addictions as well okay some addictions need to be let go of some of these addictions could be drugs sex negative thinking because that's coming out a lot right here dark thoughts okay some of these chains need to be released here okay and we have the emperor card right here some people you need to let go there may be a lover a man in your life here but this is also giving me um energy energy mars energy aries energy and mars energy some of you guys may need to let go of aries okay but this is definitely giving me mars energy masculine energy putting forth the action of doing the work that's necessary with the eight of pentacles here okay doing the work to let go of these things that are toxic that are holding on to you okay so that you can manifest those things that you desire okay manifest the sex sex the success that you wish and desire here on this plane okay while you're down here on earth okay so it's time to get to work all right no more manifestations on earthly desires but on being able to elevate yourself your vibration your spiritual mind your spiritual body okay that's what it's about okay all those things that hurt you in the past was to elevate you spiritually okay to have a better spiritual language okay like i said earlier soon you guys need to be able to speak in more harmony speak more clearly even have spiritual communication here okay some of you guys need to pray more as well okay be able to speak to spiritual advisors like with that three of cups that came out okay letting people know what you're going through so they can pray with you pray for you and be able to help you do the work okay we have another two here that showed up for your balancing here okay you've been wavering back and forth okay should I be a little devil? Should I be that little bitch? Or should I be the little angel? Should I be that healer I'm supposed to be? Okay? You're wavering back and forth with your angel and with your devil. Okay? It's time to balance these things. All right? Balance those energies and not have them offset. Not be confused of which energy you want to vibrate in for today. Okay? This is you out here bleeding. But you're doing this to yourself. You're the cause of this because all these are all your thoughts. Okay? A lot of yeah, people have hurt you, but these are all your thoughts here. Okay? It's time to end these, this thinking. Okay? And get up and go back to the Ace of Swords to where you can have a new mindset, a new mind. Okay? And not always playing the victim, the woe is me. If this person didn't do that, then this wouldn't happen. It's because of them. That's why it happened that way, okay? You need to be celebrating. Celebrating for those who really truly love you. Those who truly see you for who you are, okay? Those those people that you can go to and speak to spiritually and help spiritually. Though you need to go to them and celebrate life with them. Those that bring out the good in you, Okay? Those true, those true people that got your back, that celebrates with you, that loves on you, okay? And if you think you don't have those people, you do, okay? You do. And if you don't have them, you need to go ahead and cut them off with the queen of swords there, okay? And it's just time to cut out that negative thinking, all right? It's time to cut it, all right? Be real with yourself, all right? Be real with yourself. Stop lying to yourself, okay? Stop lying to yourself and walk away from those negative emotions, those negative characteristics, from those negative people, okay? From that negative job, all right? It's time to walk away and we'll walk into your nine of cups to your wish fulfillment here, okay? Yep. Yeah, you got a lot of 
chaotic thoughts here. You got a lot of chaotic people that help you create these chaotic thoughts as well. Because like attracts like, all right? So when you know you need to move around, certain people do that, okay? Because you need to be able to be in your own vibration so that you can heal. With the Seven of the Pentacles here, a lot of you guys need to heal. You guys are still going through healing, okay? And no, it doesn't happen overnight, all right? It doesn't. It takes a while to heal, all right? Just be patient with yourself. But you have to make sure that you're trying every day to vibrate higher. You're trying every day to master those thoughts, okay? So you can ascend, all right? So you can be comfortable in this new path, all right? So let go of those things that no longer serve you. So that you can heal those scars, heal that pain, all right? So you can start changing your mindset and those dark memories, those dark thoughts will continue to linger in your mind. And you could have a better and brighter future here with this Three of Wands, okay? You could have that, all right? At the bottom of the deck, we have the Six of Swords. It's time to move on to peace, peaceful waters, peaceful energy, harmony and peace, okay? That's what it's time for, baby. All right. My nose is going crazy, so I'm definitely channeling this energy here. Okay. So do what's needed, my love. All right. Be renewed by the renewing of your mind. Because a new path is opening up for you, all right? But in order for you to stay into this path and to master this awakening that's going on and to stay in the vibration of this awakening, you're going to have to continue healing, balancing your yin and yang, balancing your light and your dark, perfecting your light and your dark, and solidifying yourself and purifying yourself. All right, my loves? So Scorpio, that is your reading. If you do find this reading does resonate with you, please let me know by leaving me a like and or a comment. And if you want a personal reading, you can book with me. I have links down below. Okay, loves? All right, Scorpio. Peace.